Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from this topic of equations. And in this question, we have been given two linear equations and we need to find the value of K here. So there can be multiple answers also possible for this value of K. We have been asked this value of K for which the two linear equations that are given to us say K plus one X plus 8y is equal to 4k and the second linear equation given to us is kx plus k plus 3y is equal to 3k minus 1. So we have been given this two linear equations and we have been told to find the values of k for the condition where we get for this two linear equations infinitely many solutions. So we need to find the value of k here such that we get infinitely many solutions for these two linear equations given to us. And the four options that are given to us in this question says, you get the value of k as one, two, three, four. So these are the four options given to us. There can be multiple answers correct also in this question. So let's try to find the value of k here. Now, when I talk about for infinitely many solutions, For the two linear equations, let's say our first linear equation is of the form a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and the other is of the form a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. So for these two linear equations, if I want the result to have infinitely many solutions, the condition that is there is a1 upon a2 should be equal to b1 upon b2 and that should be equal to c1 upon c2 where a1 and a2 are nothing but the coefficients of x, b1 and b2 are the coefficients for y, and c1 and c2 are the constant terms. So if I compare this two with these two linear equations, so if I compare the first linear equation with a1x plus b1y is equal to c1, I get a1 as k plus 1, I get b1 as 8, I get C1 as 4K. Further, if I compare the next equation given with again A2X plus B2Y is equal to C2, I get A2 as K, I get B2 as K plus 3, and I get C2 as 3K minus 1. So now if I use this idea which I already have, the condition for infinitely many solutions, I get the result that says k plus 1 upon k is equal to 8 upon k plus 3 and that's also equal to 4k upon 3k minus 1. So we have both of or I should say three terms which are equal to each other. So three ratios equal to each other. I can equate any two ratios at a time and find the value for k. Let's understand. So if I equate the first two, let's find the value for k if I equate the first two. So I have k plus 1 upon k that is equal to 8 upon k plus 3. If I solve this further, I get this as k plus 1, k plus 3 is equal to 8k. So you get here k square plus k plus 3k plus 3 is equal to so you have k square plus 4k plus 3 is equal to 8k. If 8k goes there, becomes minus 8k. So you get k square minus 4k plus 3 is equal to 0. If I try to solve this idea, splitting the middle term, I can solve this equation, quadratic equation. So k square minus 4k and plus 3. So I can see minus 3 into minus 1 gives me plus 3 and minus 3 minus 1 also becomes minus 1. So minus 3k minus k plus 3 is equal to 0. Now from the first two terms, if I take out k common, I'm left with k minus 3. 
From the next two terms, I can take out minus 1 common. I'm left with k minus 3 is equal to 0. So you get k minus 1, k minus 3 is equal to 0. So from this equation, I get k is equal to 1 or so you get two values of k satisfying here for the first part. Now let's do equate the next two and find the value for k as well for that. So if I equate it here only. So we have first ratio 8 upon k plus 3. Second ratio was 4k upon 3k minus 2. So k upon if I multiply 8 into 3k minus 1 is equal to 4k into k plus. So you have your 24k minus 8 is equal to 4k square plus 12k. If I solve this further, it gives me 4k square plus 12k and minus 24k. So 12 minus 24 becomes minus 12k. So you have 4k square minus 12k. Minus 8 becomes plus 8 here equals to 0. 4 taken out common gives me k square minus 3k plus 2 is equal to 0. 4, if I divide it here with 0, it becomes 0. So you have k square minus 3k plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, once you have this quadratic equation with you, what you can do here is you can split this middle term. If I try to split this middle term, what I get here is k square minus 2k minus k plus 2 is equal to 0. Splitting this k common k minus 2 minus 1 common k minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have here k minus 1, k minus 2 is equal to 0. Again, using this quadratic, I get k is equal to 1 or k minus 2 is equal to 0. So k is equal to so again, you get two values of k here, that is 1 or 2. So now if you see the common value of k that is present between both the ratios is 1. Because 3, if I put it here, won't satisfy the two ratios. So it, k cannot be 3. If I put value of k, which we get here 2, in this, it will also not be satisfied. So there is only one value of k and there is only one correct answer for k in this question, that is 1. So k is equal to 1 satisfies the value for which we get infinitely many solutions for the two linear equations. So the answer for the question becomes, so a is the correct answer. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of question where you have been given infinitely many solutions for the two linear equations. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of IITJW. Thank you.